revealed. So today we got plenty of OnePlus 9 leaks, including the camera configuration, the OnePlus 9 benchmarks, the OnePlus 9 release date, and finally, the design revealed for the OnePlus 9 Pro. Before get started though, please like the video. The leak the camera module of the OnePlus 9 which has three sensors, along with an LED flash for those of you. The court last week's video, you would have seen the white OnePlus 9 leak. This new camera module falls exactly answer of the OnePlus 9, as can be a 48 megapixel primary sensor with a 48 megapixel ultra wide, as the second three camera no as you can see there is one third sense towards the bottom, but is actually no news at the moment on what the sensor is going to be with her. There is speculation that it can be either a monochrome or a micro sensor. The standard OnePlus 9 is reportedly getting an upgrade on the front as well we're expecting to see a 32 megapixel Sophie camera, and you can see on the image here as it can be another flat display. The OnePlus 9 benchmark was leaked last week, and although many claimed it was the Pro it seems as if they were incorrect. The OnePlus 9 benchmark leak shows the device running Android 11 with 8GB of RAM, and it scored a single core score of 1122, and a multi-core score of 2733, and this was on Geekbench 5 of these are good scores, but let's not forget it's still early benchmarks, and there's plenty more optimization to be had. Next up we finally have a review of the OnePlus 9 Pro OnePlus Pro renders it comes courtesy of Steve McFly from OnLeaks, and he has been incredibly accurate over the past year vendors that we again get a curved display on the OnePlus 9 Pro. It's pretty much a full screen device with a poncho in the top left, and it looks exactly as we were expecting the bezels look fairly symmetrical. We can see that is a little bit of a chin at the bottom of the display. We take a look at the rear we can see four different lenses and LED flash and the microphone. So unlike the leaks for the OnePlus 9 which have camera modules in the same color as the body, it appears that we got a black module on the OnePlus 9 Pro, though personally, I find this to look a lot more premium, but unfortunately only it's could not shed any light on the exact senses used or many were hoping for a full screen display again on the Pro. We do have that Poncho Sophie camera in the top, left the volume rocker on the left, and the power button and the alert slider on the right. We again have bottom firing speakers and only ask is advised the back will be made of glass, over what the OnePlus 9 Pro is pretty much a refined version of a few of its predecessors, and keeping it to a very similar one, plus design not only ask does state that this OnePlus 9 Pro is at a prototyping stage, as that the vast majority of the OnePlus Pro design is since 9 series coming in March, and Steven on leaks also says that he can confirm the OnePlus 9 is coming in March, to it's great that we finally got some more detail on the OnePlus 9 Pro, as we approaches launching no doubt more and more information will surface for those interested in the one we didn't get a pro version but it is expected to seal oneplus 9 and a oneplus 9 pro there haven't been any leaks in the oneplus 9 design one thing we do know about oneplus is they don't like to stay the same oneplus as a company that is not afraid to make changes and try something new like many other manufacturers right now so we can expect to see something different when it comes to their devices that we only get a big change the start of the year and the minor upgrades for the t they've already given us the pop-up camera which was incredibly popular in the then chases to a poncho, which has also seen great success on the whole of the OnePlus on the Note range, OnePlus 9, and the OnePlus 9 Pro, likely can be another full screen device, but at this stage, we really don't know if it can be a poncho or another pop-out, we can see a minor screen size increases each time, so this release. I would expect the OnePlus 9 to come with a 6.6 inch display OnePlus Pro to be 6.8 to 6.9 inches it will of course be fluid AMOLED displays. We can probably expect an 90Hz Full HD Plus resolution on the OnePlus 9 than 120Hz Quad HD Plus resolution on the OnePlus 9 Plus 9 Pro. They don't go overboard with the Sophie senses either, so expect another 60 megapixel Sophie camera on both of these phones. Also both have their fingerprint scanners under the display as usual, when it comes to the rear of the device. Most manufacturers are going with this rectangular camera module. So it's likely that OnePlus can do the same as they did on the 8T, with the same time they have also been known to do everything this is still a little bit unknown when it comes to the cameras. We can probably expect a triple camera setup on the OnePlus 9 and a triple, with the addition of a time of flight sensor on the OnePlus 9 Pro, the rumors that they can change it from the 48 megapixels primary to the new 64 megapixel sensor on the OnePlus 9 Pro, and maybe even the OnePlus 9, but again these are just rumors, and there's nothing to back them up. Also expecting the return of the much-loved ultra-wide lens considering its popularity and will rumor are stating a telephoto lens on the OnePlus 9 Pro. This can have three times optical zoom. There's no mention if this is also expected on the standard OnePlus 9 when it comes RAM and storage as can be 12 gigs of RAM. 
when it could bump it up 16. I think that's an unnecessary cost the consumer as always, that the standard OnePlus 9 is also can have an 8GB option storage as can be 128 and 256, and some hoping for maybe 512 the phone is, of course, can be powered by the Snapdragon 8751 Plus. Always use the latest flagship chipset from Qualcomm in the smartphones, so can be 99.9% .9 sure that both the OnePlus 9. The OnePlus 9 Pro is can a feature this a bump in the screen size, of course, comes with a bump in battery capacity as well. So if this is true we can expect around 4,800 million powers for the OnePlus 9 Pro, and 4,600 for the OnePlus 91 Plus, really push the boundaries with a 65, what will charge on the 8T, so it would be nice to have more, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see 65, what again OnePlus 9 Pro is can support wireless charging of at least 30 watts, we're hoping this may be brought down to the standard model, but at the same time they have to cut specs in certain areas cut the cost. This is probably can be one of them the OnePlus 9 Pro is expected to be IP68 water resistant, with the standard OnePlus 9 is unlikely to have this both phones will of course it with the latest Oxygen OS, based on Android 11, when it comes to pricing, of course, we can expect more than last time around with new phones, become more expensive hardware internally as one, plus growing popularity, it allows them to charge more for their devices. They are also doing well in the mid-range, meaning they can set the sight more on the highest tier flagships. With this in mind, I think we can expect the OnePlus 9 start from around $750 $800. The OnePlus Pro around $952,000 well it is high, and it does seem a lot will definitely find it is cheaper than other manufacturers such as Samsung releasing their phones next year. Of course with the launch expected to be in March. That is it. Please subscribe, like the video.